For our next step, what we're going to do is we're going to put a texture on these before we put them in orbit. We're going to get them set up. So this is actually really quick and easy, and I'm going to show you a couple of these, and then I'm going to want you to do the rest on your own. So we're going to start with the sun. So uh, make sure you've clicked on the sun. Press F with your cursor over the window. Right click on the sun. Go to Assign New Material. Select Lambert. And select the checker box right here next to color. Now in this case we're going to want to use a file and we're going to click on image name. Now if you notice this opens directly to your source images file. Now what you're, this is where you're going to want to put the different planet textures that you're going to use. So let me cancel out of this and I already have these downloaded and set off to the side. So let me select all of these. I'm just going to copy these really quick slide these into your source images. Now, if you notice with them in the source images, you should be able to click on the folder and there they are ready to go. So click on the sun map and notice it has loaded up in the square here, but it has not gone onto our planet. That's because we're currently in uh, a non-textured shader. To get the texture, do you want to hit six? When you hit the number six, the texture will apply to the planet so you can see it in the preview. The next we're going to do is Mercury. Again, right click, assign new material, Lambert. Next to the color, we're going to select a file, and then we're going to choose our file, which is Mercury Map. You can see we have our image of Mercury. Now, to make this different, what we're going to do is the sun is actually a gas ball and doesn't have a texture, unlike Mercury, which actually has bumps and canyons and crevices and craters. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go back and load what is known as a bump map. A bump map is a texture that will allow us to create depth from an image. It's based on the grayscale. So you can see here what I've done is I've gone click next to the bump map checker, come into the bump 2D1, I'm going to select file 3, and I'm going to select my image again. Now here I've already loaded these in for you. This is Mercury Bump, and you notice a grayscale image loaded here. Now if you take a render, you'll see that we have a nice, chunky, gritty Mars. Now of course Mars is not that gritty. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to back that down a little bit by going back to your bump 2D1, changing your bump depth to something like 0.1. And then if we take a render, you can actually see much better, much more realistic. Now you notice we're st also still a little angular in this image. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make sure that we are smoothing this more than we have. Now up to this point, we really haven't talked about smoothing. So we have number one is our rough. Number two is a little bit smoother. Oh, let me click on this here. Okay, you can actually see we're rough, there's smoothness. You can actually see down in the bottom corner, your subdivision display here will be changing. Smoothness is one. We click two, we'll make it smoother. And then three, we'll display it with that smoothness. So if we render now, notice a much more uh, smooth ball. That's still not 100%, but you know, we're working with something very basic and a very basic primitive at the moment. And you can see we can move that around and work with the bump and see what we want to do. Um, we're also probably still in a very basic preview. Yeah, see we're using the Maya software for the rendering right now. Uh, that will be changing once we start adding in the particles. Um, and we continue this. The next thing we would do is choose Venus. We hit F. We're going to go to right click, assign new material, Lambert, choose the, the file that we want, open that up, we're going to go to Venus down at the bottom. Again, we're going to make sure that we click the back button here. This is going to this is our inputs and outputs. So we're going to come back to our bump mapping. Click the file. We're going to go to the file 5, load the image name, which here again is Venus bump. And we will go back, take a quick render. 
Notice, really chunky again, a little more than we'd like. So we're gonna calm that down by going back into the Lambert, going into the bump and adjusting where we are. Okay. There we go. Let me cancel out of that. Good. Okay. So we're gonna wanna make sure that we can change and tweak these settings as we go along. I'd like you to complete the rest, Earth, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. I'm gonna finish those off here and continue in a moment. Okay, so now that you're done, what you should have is all of your planets outlined here, all the way through Pluto. Now, some of you might be scavenging looking for the bump map for Jupiter, Saturn. Please remember that these are gas planets and therefore do not have a texture to be bumped. So we just leave those just as they are. The textures here, I will include a link, uh, come from a different website that will have those and you can track those down on your own or they'll be included with the files that we have given you. Uh, if you also notice, I've taken the moment to name the Saturn ring, uh, ring. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna parent that to the planet itself. So I'm gonna click on Saturn and I'm going to middle click and drag it up onto Saturn. Now, if you notice, it disappears. That is because it is actually inside of Saturn. It is now called known uh, as parented. You can move and they will move together. You want to try to keep these together at all costs because, you know, we've worked hard to get the size and the scale proper. And once we move these into orbit, you want it to be as simple as possible. You don't have to want to have to worry about the orbits or any of that. So in a perspective, we can return to our default view. We can actually see our suns all the way through. If you'd like to, now is the perfect time to scale up your sun. Your sun, actually, the first thing you should do, <laughs> because this is what we know is going to happen, we could scale the sun up in the channel box is going to go up to 100. Now, if you notice, you have lost everything. Actually, you haven't. It is actually hidden inside of the sun. So what you can do is select all of your planets, go to panels, top view, and scroll way out. Press X. And just move everything out. You don't need to worry about the X. In that case, the X is going to snap everything in. But soon we're going to be moving this together to the actual official orbit range. And we're going to be using uh, data we find on websites to make sure that that's right. You can also increase the smoothness of your sun by pressing 3. You can actually go through all of these now if you'd like to do that. Just press 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. And you can make sure that the ring is nice and smooth as well. Okay, well that's where we're going to stop for this tutorial. We'll continue on next with attaching these to their orbits.